Manga Wido. My name is Yamato Kawana. I'm a junior at Manwa University. I've always been the quiet type. You would find me reading in the corner of the classroom during break time. It isn't as bad as it sounds. I never had to deal with annoying people, and I liked the place I was in. But now that I'm here, life isn't as easy as it was back in the day. This guy is a party boy from the same class. His name is Sasada. He looks down on me and likes to pick on me. He didn't like how I commented when he presented his report in class. Sasada's report was obviously copied from an article online, and I said, Are those actually your thoughts? I should have kept my mouth shut. Afterwards, the professor found the article online, and Sasada got in trouble. Things started getting bad for me after that. I think Sasada blames me for getting caught. Hey, Kawana! We're having a barbecue! You should come! I'll pass. I don't like eating outdoors. Jeez! I was gonna make you buy the ingredients and get the grill ready! <laughs> You're useless! When I refused to attend the blind group date... What? You should be thankful that I invited you! You're just inviting me so you have more people. I'm not gonna do something I don't feel like going to. Yo! You need to do something about your attitude! I knew Sasada invited me so he could make himself look better. The guy who was invited after I refused told me. Well, I shouldn't have gone. They picked on me the whole time. It sucks. I felt really bad for him. He continued making derogatory remarks about me whenever he saw me. He would start picking on me, especially when there were girls around. Whenever I was reading and minding my own business. Just being smart enough to read a book doesn't cut it out in the real world, you know? You all agree, right? Who would you rather marry? This loser right here? Or a fun guy like me? Sasada is handsome, I have to admit. He has a lot of fans. All the girls around him would start giggling. Or they would look at me like I was pathetic. I hated waiting for class to start. Because Sasada would always come over just to make me feel small. One day, as I was walking home from getting emotionally beaten up by Sasada... <sighs> I'm exhausted. Huh? Hey, I'm getting a phone call. I answered the phone, and it was from my uncle. He wanted me to work at his Italian restaurant by the station. Yamato! We just opened our second location! We're getting so many reservations, I really need your help. Can you come work for me after your classes, by any chance? I don't know if I'll be useful. I've never done waiting before. Just then, I remembered how Sasada insulted me on how introverted I was. I have to admit, he had a point. Maybe I should work on my communication skills. And so, I agreed to work at my uncle's Italian restaurant. I found out. Once I started working, I was better at this job than I thought I would be. It felt good talking to all the customers. I was actually having fun. The people I worked with were all kind, and I found myself looking forward to going to work every day. However, a month after I started working there... Hey, are you serious? Kawana? You work here? Sasada walked into the restaurant with his buddies. I guess they were going out for some drinks. Yo, everyone, look! It's Kawano! This is hilarious! An introvert like him waiting? Oh, he was being so loud. All the customers were staring at him. He was irritating me, but I kept my feelings in. I led Sasada and his friends to one of the tables. Sasada kept coming back to see me at the restaurant. However, my work buddies sensed what was going on, and they were kind enough to take over Sasada's table for me. Thanks to that, I didn't have to talk to him much. I was thankful and glad that I didn't have to deal with him at the restaurant. But then he suddenly announced to my classmates, Did you know Kawana works at an Italian restaurant in front of the station? It's freaking hilarious! He goes around tables looking like a butler. <laughs> he looks pathetic. He was bursting into laughter, and it was pissing me off. I knew the uniform didn't suit me well. I had no choice but to wear it. Damn it! Why did he have to mention that? Just then... Yamato, you work at that restaurant? I went there a few months back, and I really liked it. 
The food is just beautiful, and it's so good. I love that place. You're tall and you have this classy look. I think you fit the image well. Hey, when will you be working next? I'd love to see you in uniform. Some girls started surrounding me, which was quite surprising. Oh, um, thanks. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be working tomorrow night after classes. My uncle is the owner. He'll be happy to meet some of my classmates. What? Your uncle owns the place? I always thought he was so handsome. Me too! He's got that mature adulty hotness going on. Hey, you're pretty handsome too. You should put your bangs up. That was the first time a girl touched my hair. I was so surprised I jumped back. I guess the girls liked it. They all started giggling and called me cute. As for Sasada, he was glaring at me in frustration. Although it was unintended, I felt good about how things turned out. The professor arrived soon after, and we all went to our seats. I didn't want to get caught by Sasada, so I fled from the classroom as soon as the class ended. I heard him yell. Hey, hold it there! Don't get too cocky! You're just a loser introvert! But I ignored him. I didn't care. For the first time in my life, I was smiling when I got onto the train to go home. I won! It felt good when I thought about it. I couldn't keep it in. However, you wouldn't believe what Sasada started doing to get back at me. Gosh, that Sasada guy. How many times has it been already? Sasada? You mean Sasada from Manwa University? Yeah, he keeps reserving the rooms for big groups. He says he'll be using it for parties and stuff, but he always cancels right before the reservation time. Sometimes he won't even call and we're left with an empty room. Oh no. I go to the same class as Sasada. I'll ask him to stop doing that when I see him. Sasada, I heard you've been making ridiculous reservations just to cause trouble. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. Are you doing this just to get back at me? What? That never crossed my mind. It does feel good, though, seeing you freaking out like this. Stop it! Do you know how much trouble it costs a restaurant when a huge reservation gets canceled like that? Please, don't ever do it again. Shut up! I'm a customer. A waiter is supposed to listen to everything a customer says. The customer is always right. Tasada pushed me aside and stormed out of the room. I went back to the restaurant and told my uncle about what happened. I'm so sorry. I have a feeling he'll do it again. Oh, I see. That's fine. Uh, what should we do? Maybe we should refuse his reservations? No, it's okay. Let him do what he wants. Huh? You can't be serious. I am. I got this under control. I made sure to text all the other part-time workers to tell them what was going on. Sasada continued to reserve large amounts of seats, and he would cancel all of them without notice every time. What he didn't realize was that he was falling right into our trap. Two months later, I was talking to Sasada, trying to get him to stop harassing the restaurant. I've told you so many times, stop it! You don't realize how much trouble you have caused us! You reserved and canceled courses for 15 people. That's a huge loss for the restaurant. Shut up! We decided to go to a different place. Stop bugging me or I'll write comments about how the restaurant isn't worth people's money. So now you're threatening me. You won't be able to do that for much longer. Your attitude gets on my nerves, man. Listen, no matter what you say, I'm the customer. That never changes. If a customer can't make it to the restaurant, the employees just need to deal with it, okay? Now get out of my way! No, I'm not moving. I'm staying right here until you pay me the money you've cost us. What? A cancellation fee? Nobody told me about that. Are you sure? We always explain to the customers that there will be a cancellation fee if they don't come on the day of the reservation. I have no idea what you're talking about. Nobody told me about any cancellation fee. You know, when I think about it, I don't think I made any reservations to start with. 
Yes, I'm sure I didn't reserve any seats. So I have nothing to do with cancellation fees. See? Now get out of my face. Go! You don't remember? Sasada was smirking. So I pulled out my phone to show him. People were starting to notice something was going on between us. And they were gathering around us. <laughs> I guess I should start then. This is a recording of when you made a reservation. You've been repeating the same prank too many times. Did you really think we wouldn't do anything? The owner bought a new phone that records every conversation. Here, listen. It's your voice. And you even say your name. I pressed play and you could hear. My name is Toshio Sasada. And also... A cancellation fee? Okay, I get it. There was no way out for him. This is why the employee who answered the phone checked your name so many times. He also made sure to mention how much you will have to pay if you cancel. You agreed to it. It was all a plan to gather proof of what you did. You won't get away with it this time. You're done for. This is, uh, this is all a lie. I didn't make any calls. Some students started to say, Hey, I saw you making the phone call. We were right there when you called the restaurant. I was relieved that his friends weren't all as rotten as he was. I decided it was time to take the next step. You should just give up. The owner is headed to the police right now. He's suing you for interference with his business. P police Yeah. I heard that you did the same thing to the other restaurant the owner is in charge of. Plus, you've played this prank on other restaurants. All of the owners have gotten together and hired a lawyer so they can go talk to the police. You are finished. Dead meat. You can't be serious! Well, I've got a job offers! My life will be ruined if you call the police! You reap what you sow? This is all on you, Sasada. The police don't usually handle issues like this, but considering the amount of damage Sasada caused and seeing how there was clear proof, they were cooperative in taking immediate action. They came to get Sasada a few days later, and he was taken down to the station right away. He realized he wouldn't be able to get out of it on his own, so he called his parents for help. They hired a lawyer right away. In the end, the lawsuit was settled out of court. However, Sasada's mother was furious because she had to pay the settlement fee for her son. Sasada lost the job offer when the company heard about what he did and how the police were called on him. He was sent to his relative's factory, where he works and lives now. Recently, Did you see Sasada's social media account? I did. He had a haggard face and he was so pale. I agree. If I didn't know him, I would have thought he was 40 or older. I know, seriously. Guess he's going through a lot. His physical appearance changed drastically. Probably because he was under his relative's watch 24-7. And they made him do a lot of heavy lifting. He has to send most of the money he makes to his parents. So he is left with almost nothing. Hence, making it impossible for him to visit the city. Someone help me! Bring a car and drive me out of here! He posts messages like this on his social media accounts almost every day. Such a loser. As for me, I know where I'll be working after I graduate from university, and I'm enjoying my life. I have a crush on a girl at the restaurant who has brightened up my life in ways I never thought it could be. I should thank Sasada for warning me about my communication skills. That's the one thing I'm thankful for. I am planning to live a fulfilled life from now on without getting stomped on by anyone anymore. <laughs>